YouTube, how are you doing? Welcome on this beautiful Monday here in the Netherlands. Today we are testing uh, uh, Mint Linux 17. It's the latest, you know, so uh, I was like, you know, Mint Linux is a very good distribution. So I thought let's install it on the e-machine, the one that was running Bodhi. You know, it was, it ran uh, Mac OS X. 10.6.3 for a little moment this morning I have the install CD it will come online so you will see the settings so if you have this machine you know how to you know make a hacking touch running 10.6.3 but that is not uh, the the thing that we're gonna do now what we're gonna do is we just created a bootable USB stick with uh, power ESO for the, those that don't know how to do that well then you must watch my video how to do that I must have a video in the list somewhere so we put this this is like a USB with a SD card of 2 gigabytes so that's what I'm in fact using as a bootable device so we're gonna start up the machine be careful when you install Mac on this thing it may get really hot because the power management is not good supported um, let me boot up with holding F10 that will bring me into the boot menu you see boot menu there and now I can select the USB storage device this one at the bottom so I don't have to go into the bias and then first, you know, and change it all. So we can start uh, Linux Mint. We can start in compatibility mode. We can do an integrity uh, check, memory test, boot from local drive. What we're going to do is start Mint Linux, the first one. We first going to see if it will start the machine in the normal way. And if not, because of the video card, then we will need to boot up in compatibility mode but as you can see Mint Linux has no problem starting up whatsoever and we might uh, even installer on this machine will give us a very uh, yeah fast Linux machine with a good environment for anyone to you know understand and use <clears throat> download apps out of their own private market set the desktop the way you want it bloody bloody blah you can do so many things and up here you can see that uh, everything is set up Wi-Fi is available so at, at this moment you know only thing you have to do is log into your Wi-Fi and then you know you will be online because here are the you know the stations so we can just log in now and you know but we will not do that, we're just gonna hit install Linux. We hit this icon here. Just hit it one time, don't hit it two and three times, just hit it one time. Uh, I will install it in English, but for my Dutch people and my Katala people and Celista and Dance and German and, and all my friends from France and my friends from uh, Calego, Italiano, Kurdi. Uh, Dutch, of course, Netherlands, Polski, Portuguese, Portuguese, Brazil, Romana, my friends from Romania, Slovenia, Slovania, Slovanka, Svenska. Wow, all you guys, yo, you can install this. I see many Arabic uh, languages that I cannot pronounce. Friends from all over the world. I see China, Japan. Man, I don't even know what I'm seeing here. So, oops, let me select English because I don't understand that. Where is English? Oh, there it is. So, you know, my hermanos, I just select English and you must select your language. Up here we can uh, connect, you know, connecting to this uh, Wi-Fi network will allow you to, um, to install third-party software. And that is really handy because, you know, um, So you don't have to go and 
install uh, MP3 codecs and so. So when you uh, when, when this fit this install is done, you see we're connected now to the internet. You know when this install is done, this thing will actually just you know work and play MP3s out of the box. Here you can see the Wi-Fi card. It's the AR5BXB63. Uh, we have in this thing a Qualcomm Ateris. So it's Ateris Wi-Fi card. So we can now just continue. We're connected. And uh, well, the installer is really simple. If you cannot read too good what is written here, I will bring it a little bit closer. Uh, has at least 7.9 gigabyte byte of space available is plugged into the power slot is connected to the internet well the last one is not really necessary if you don't have internet you can still install this okay erase the disk this computer currently has no detected operating system well we just erase the disk install linux mint that's what we're gonna do we can encrypt the new linux mint installation for security you will choose a security key in the next step use LVM I'm not gonna do anything there I'm just gonna select erase disk and install Lin Mint Linux so um, we installing now so you know I think at this point uh, it will see that I'm in Amsterdam up here you can choose your keyboards well you know for the Dutch people it's just English US and international keyboard uh, with dead keys I think no idea up here you can insert your name I'm gonna call this uh, Acer and um, I'm gonna use it in the studio Oops. studio set the password And up here, I will also say log in automatically. I can also say, um, you know, uh, require password to log in, but that is annoying, you know, because I'm the only one using this machine. And if my people, my friends come here, they can use this machine to, you know, to do some internet business they want to do. So we're going to let this install go. And after the reboot, I'll get back to you. Alrighty. And after the reboot, we uh, get this screen, welcome uh, Mint Guyana Guyana It's the 32-bit version And I'm sure I pronounced it wrong But I think it's like Kiana Kiana But it looks uh, very nice I'm gonna play with it and so should you so um, that is how to install uh, Mint Linux 17 on your uh, laptop. It will work on almost any laptop. This is an old, uh, yeah, what is it? I don't even know, 1.6 gigahertz Celeron processor. So, you know, it has two gigabytes of memory. So that is really cool. So, um, you know, but it will run on your Pentium 4 as well. So you can install it, make sure you have enough RAM and uh, yeah you will be amazed that uh, the airport sound and everything will be installed as a charm well I just <laughs> changed uh, the look and feels a little bit and you can see that uh, yeah you can change the orb really easy now in 17 by just hitting preferences and go here to the you know the icon button and here you can change any orb you want I just got the funny orb because I like the colors, you know, see that, looks nice stuff. The menu, and at this moment I'm uh, installing Rhythmbox, and I was installing another one as well, another program, let me see what was it, oh yes, a capture program. I just installed the capture program so I can capture this desktop and also make some videos of uh, the stuff that you can do with Mint Linux but it looks amazing so you should really try it out Mint Linux anyway peeps thank you for watching this was Spock with Mint Linux 17 until my next video bye